One of the things that's happening out there is that a lot of these labs are doing uh, inefficient, invalid testing, and they're using the term patented food sensitivity tested. You have to understand, to patent something doesn't mean that there's science behind it. You can patent any new idea. So one of the marketing scams that's out there with a lot of these laboratories is, let's say, new patented food sensitivity tests. And whenever you see that, you should have be really concerned that it's really a red flag, that this lab is really focused on marketing and not really an actual science. In the field of diagnostic medicine, uh, when you look at reactions with the immune system, the gold standard is ELISA. Um, there's no such thing as a patented new technology for food sensitivity. What's getting very popular today is finger prick testing f to measure food sensitivities. This is where you, instead of donating and s donating blood, you actually prick your finger and give little samples of blood to see if you can measure food sensitivities. And many people out are asking, is this accurate? And the answer is, it can be if they're only checking one or two foods. But once you start checking 30 or 40 foods, you got a major problem. And also, even though you can check antibodies and reaction to foods with, with, a, with a small sample of blood, it's not going to be very accurate. In order to really do the gold standard testing, you really need to do something called uh, ELISA methodology. And ELISA methodology can't be done very well with one single drop of blood. So if you're spending all your time and energy and money on food testing, please stay away from finger prick testing. It's, it's not very accurate. In the Food Sensitivity Solving the Puzzle course, I'll feature a series of how to do do videos and additional materials and uh, different pieces of information that will help you absorb the latest science and clinical applications of food intolerances in a way you can immediately put it to use right away. I'll we'll walk you through the physiology of food sensitivities, how the immune system is designed to respond to foods, and a step-by-step -step tour of how the dietary proteins impact your immune response. We'll also explore how food preparation and processing themselves can cause sensitivities such as food coloring and other additives, genetically modified foods, hybridized foods, modern food processing practices, the way foods are stored, and so on. So if you're tired of being confused about food sensitivities and allergies, visit the link below, learn more about our program called Food Sensitivities, Solving the Puzzle, and Decoding Your Food Intolerance.